Hey guys, Kyle here, and today I'll be comparing Lloyd's Ninja Nightcrawler from 2018 and Lloyd's Race Car Evo from earlier this year. If you want to skip to a specific part of the video, I'll leave timestamps in the description below. But all that said, let's start by comparing the minifigures. Comparing the minifigures, which, I mean, this isn't a very fair comparison whatsoever. I think we can already see which is a winner, but anyway, on the left is a Lloyd's Ninja Nightcrawler from 2018, and on the right is Lloyd's uh, Evo Race Car from this year. I think you can easily deduct yourself which wins, and that's of course on the left, the Ninja Nightcrawler. This just has so much better minifigure designs. I am a fan of the core Lloyd suit, but I, I don't know, I think the legs just clash too much with it. The dark green, the green, and the olive green all look incredible together, but then you have the brown of the legs, I like the olive brown, and it just doesn't, doesn't work in my opinion. I think these pyro minifigures are also pretty cool, especially this guy uses the outrider arms. He's pretty dope to get, but I mean, Ultraviolet, and this one's a Garmadon version of Neon Lloyd, kind of carry. So, in my opinion, if we're talking about minifigures in comparison, of course, the Ninja Nightcrawler is the winner. But anyway, let's take a look and compare the side bolts you get in each set. So, the side bolts here are very, very, like, interesting. For instance, I think both of these are great, which on the left, Ninja Nightcrawler from 2018, and on the right, Lloyd's Evil Race Car this year i think these are both great in some sense but honestly and a rare w here. lloyd's race car evo is a better side build i think the sons of Garda one is fine but like it's just a bike with like two red katanas attached it's like it's it's whatever but personally this one is good and this might be nostalgia talking because this is essentially a recolor of a poly bag from 2012 which eh, but it's whatever but actually taking a look at this one uh, you can see there's a sticker there, and uh, fire piece come out the back, and also these two bits here that can move. Pretty detailed, and here it's just uh, it's just a bike with a Sons of Garmin sticker and these things at the side. But this is also what both look like with each respective minifigure riding it. But in practice, with both minifigures on, again, Lloyd's Royce Car Evo is going to take the cake here because it has, since it is a car and not a bike, it doesn't have the issue of this constantly toppling over because of the wrecking ball. And you could say just remove the wrecking ball, which... Alright. But it, it just looks better with the wrecking ball, in my opinion. This guy, mechanic guy, he's pretty cool. I don't know, he's he's pretty cool. If you guys see him in the show, he's a pretty cool guy. And finally, let's take a look at the main course, and obviously is the car comparison. Now, once again, I, I really don't think I need to tell you which is the winner. On the left is the Ninja Nightcrawler from 2018, and on the right is Lloyd's Race Car Evo from this year. And this quite literally is a very pitiful <laughs> comparison. Straight off the bat, this design here for Lloyd's Race Car Evo, what were they thinking? What were they smoking up at LEGO? Like, comparing these two night and day, the stud shooters, I guess they're meant to be exhaust, could have been hidden better. And honestly, I think they should have gone with the classic stud shooter style. Here, I mean, again, the play feature, it's its not that great. You can see that Technic exposed there, which you push down on, and the blades pop up, as well as these two um, rot rotary cannons, or whatever you call them. Uh, the, the glass, the windshield purse, I mean, what, what even happened here? This just looks like they ran out of parts midway through, like it's missing a roof or something, but I can assure you, this is not missing any pieces. This is exactly the way it's advertised on the box. And honestly, that is a bit shocking. At the back as well, I mean, these both, yeah, these both look, I mean, yeah. The, this one here is obviously worse. This can detach though, at least, but I don't know, this just looks a bit unfinished. Uh, both at the front again look pretty good, but flipping them to the side, you can see again, just what, what happened with this. This here is very slick, very elegant. This here is slick, yet a bit chunky, and maybe too chunky, like, what what happened? Anyway, take a look at the back. Again, night and day comparison, that this is just not a good look for this set. This has a boot as well, which is like, interesting, no Lego sets out this, you can also see the Technic in there and how it works. Very cool, I don't think it's ever done, even in Speed Champions, did you even have boots? Let me know in the comments, I don't collect Speed Champions. Here. I mean, you could have at least added the fire. What were you thinking? And this right of brick exposed as well. Come on, Lego. I guess this is 30 euro. 
but this is also around the same price. What were you thinking? And now it comes down to the winner. And I mean, if you've been keeping track in this video so far, I don't think I need to tell you which one it is, but obviously it's the Ninja Nightcrawler from 2018. This set on the right, it's not awful. I will give it that. There are worse corsets. I mean, have you seen the dragons? Crazy how those even got approved. But here, I mean, it's what even happened? I guess inflation and whatnot boosts up the 30 or something. You can get this on the, like, the aftermarket for 30. Even then, at retail, it was 40. This is 30. Even some places I've seen at 35, which is like, what the hell? I mean, come on, Lego. This is really not a good look for core, considering this is what's replacing Legacy, which is, well, that's a whole kind of worms. I won't get into this video. But anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. And also, let me know as well how I could change up this series in the future. There are a few more sets I have that I could compare, like the Iron Man Max from this year and like two years ago and other Ninjago sets. So uh, let me know in the comments what changes I could make to improve the series, what changes that you think I should make. Like, should I take better look in detail at minifigures? Should I look more at the builds, spend more time on the side builds? Let me know. But with all that said, until next time. See ya.